Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brad, and today I'm playing some Satisfactory. Now, I have put a lot of time into this game, as you can tell by my ridiculous production lines. Now, there's, there's a lot of different ways that you can actually move things around in this game. I've already covered cars. There's a little golf cart that you can actually uh, make. This is one of the ones that I didn't get to show off, so I'll show it off real quick. It's really cool. It's really ridiculous. It does not require fuel, but it only has one slot, and it falls over so easily. And... Oh, that's upright still. This will get it. Whee! And flip. Oh my goodness. Just flip already. There we go. Whee! There. Oh, come on. I'm trying to show how easy it is to flip. It, it's easy to flip. Just trust me. I can't seem to get it to flip right now. But I've covered cars. So now I'm going to talk about general movement. Now, as you'll notice, I'm currently moving. <laughs> yes, crazy. But this, I, I should cover this anyways. Walking, running, and sliding. Now, these are your main way of getting around in the early game. And I guess really in the late game, too. Because as good as all the other movement options are, it's just so nice to walk and slide, and you can't always use one way exclusively, except for this. However, there are many more advanced ways of getting around. Now, one of them I'm currently using. It's called the jetpack. The jetpack uses packaged fuel, so you need some... Mm, I'm going to call it maintenance. But once you have it, it just consumes the fuel from your inventory. You don't have to refuel it manually. It just recharges while you're on the ground. It takes about three uh, fuel to, re to get it back up to full charge. And it's pretty nice. However... It's good only for getting around when you're not outside of your factory. When you're inside your factory, you have this magical thing. What the game is built around, conveyor belts. Now, conveyor belts will automatically push you along at the same speed as all of the items. That's pretty nice. But you can also jump off of the conveyor belts while moving and maintain that same momentum. As you can see, jump, and I'm still moving. I am not actually holding forwards. Now, this combined with the jetpack can get you some really good distance. However, it pales in comparison to a sliding jump. So here's a nice patch of land. So, when you begin a slide, you move ever so slightly faster than you normally would. Combo this with a conveyor belt, however, and suddenly your measly slide is a super fast launch. I couldn't even turn in time to get away. Here we go, this is a much better area. So if we just slide along here, that's some pretty decent speed. And I still have a fair amount of control. I can swing around there. I can go up and down easily with the jetpack. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I couldn't thread the needle. Now, that's nice and all, but there are other ways of getting around. In particular, hypertubes. Hypertubes are... Uh, I, I have a love-hate relationship with them. They're nice. They really are. However, they A, require power. B, they're a bit uh, finicky to set up. First of all, you have to have the resources for it, and they aren't exactly cheap. 
they cost uh, copper, uh, what is that, copper sheets and uh, steel pipes, which, I mean, yes, you can get those pretty easily, but it, it adds up so fast. Now, hypertubes, I do admit, are a really good way of getting around a base. For example, you can jump on in here, and now my hand is off my keyboard. You can look around. Uh, you can actually influence your movement a bit while you're in a hypertube. If you aim in a direction and hold forward, you can slow yourself down and turn around if you really need to, or you can go the other way. Now, this is a strange design choice. That was completely unintentional, but that little divot right there, this little uh, this little drop right here, actually is a really ingenious design choice that was completely unintentional. Because when you're going down, you actually get a lot of momentum. As you could tell when I went straight down here, I'm going stupidly fast now. Additionally, you also continue all of that momentum if you have a jetpack and hold jump when you exit a hypertube, which is really awesome. You also maintain the same speed you had when going into a hypertube. Now, this can be played with in a variety of different ways. As you can see there, I built a hypertube slingshot because I tend to run that way a lot. So if I just jump on here, I'll maintain the same speed. So, nope, nope, I, I need a better launch. Come on. And slide. Suddenly I have stupid speed and jetpack. With the jetpack, you can get a ton of distance. And I'm maintaining my height fairly well. Let's see if I can make it to this little rock outcrop. Look at that. All the way over there. That's where I launched from. I think it's right in the middle. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to jump on this, hype, this uh, conveyor belt here. And I'll hyper uh, slide launch myself because seriously, this is stupidly fast. I'm barely touching the ground and I'm getting stupid. I'm getting stupid speed here. Now that's good and all. But how does it compare when I do just a normal conveyor belt jump? Oh, well, when I get up there, I can show you, because I actually have a conveyor belt right next to it. Now, I do admit, hypertubes are great for vertical movement, because you can get from point A to point B very quickly. But for horizontal, I actually prefer this. Just jump onto the conveyor belt, slide and jump. I'm actually moving substantially faster. Now, I made it to that ledge right there from my hypertube. Bye! I've only used half of my jetpack. I'm going to aim for there. Now, normally... Oh, that was very close to me dying. Now, you could actually put a second conveyor belt right along here. So you can then launch yourself again. However, there is one more thing that I actually want to show you guys with the hypertubes. Just run back real quick. And I do mean real quick. I'm going substantially faster than these items are. Sure, they're not moving, but when they do move, I'm going blazing fast. Let's see if I can maintain all of this speed while going into a hypertube. Oh, I lost all the speed because I was holding the wrong way. Nice. 
And we're up. Oh, those are pretty good. However, I actually cannot take credit for this next one. Uh, this one is from uh, Let's Game It Out, a uh, really good channel. He pushes games to the limits. This is a hyper tube cannon. Now, remember the part where I said you maintain speed when going into hyper tubes? Well, hyper tubes accelerate you. So if you go into one and then out and in and out and in and out and in, you accelerate super fast. And with this at the at the very end, you can launch yourself really, really far. How far? Well, this far. Oh. And now I'm using my jetpack. Uh-oh, I don't want to land in dangerous territory with no jetpack fuel. Ow. Crap, I'm in dangerous territory with no jetpack fuel. Okay. Let's make a quick tower so that I can show you my position. Now, my base is where's my base? all the way over there. If I pull up my map, I launch that far using one hypertube cannon. And that's not even as big as you can make it. You can extend that thing potentially infinitely. Now, I, I will warn you when uh, the guy on Let's Game It Out tried it, he actually broke his game by going so fast he couldn't actually uh, see anything. I, I'm not really sure how to explain it. He broke the game. He broke the speed of light is how he described it. Yeah, it's ridiculous how fast those hypertubes can launch you. Can I get this purple slug? I, I have my rad suit. Yeah, I can get this purple slug, no problem. All right, nice. That's really good. Nope, not that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I need that. There we go. Crap, now how do I get out of here without dying? That's the big question. Because I do not like this biome. It is ridiculously dangerous. And that's why those things are everywhere. Crap. There's another purple one right here. Holy crap. Oh, scare me. What the heck is that? What is that? Okay, I'm gonna cut it here. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this guide. I'm terrified. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Die. Oh, right.